I am kind of so shocked. I'm appalled. The backlash against these beautiful new AI technologies that I'm seeing. Wow. I'm seeing tweets with 150,000 likes, 200,000 likes. Regulate AI now. Ban AI now. And I'm like, what? We're going to... First of all, who the f*** are these people trying to impose their sensibilities on me? You're a fucking furry. I'm going to sit here and you're going to force your tastes on me and I have we have to sacrifice actual fucking historical progress because you're too much of a fucking baby to grow the fuck up and embrace the future. Fuck you literally. How is nobody pissed about this? I never get Listen. Maybe I am AI. My race is AI. You want to know why? Because I never get offended over race or religion on a personal level. Chancellor, what's going on? I don't get offended about race or religion on a personal level. Like, I don't give a f You know? You could say whatever dumbass sh** you want. It's not gonna offend me. I don't care. But this whole, like, cancel AI thing, it's just... I don't know why that pisses me off so much. What the f*** is that? Yeah, we're gonna just kill this in its cradle. Because it makes these fucking people uncomfortable. But, but, and, and, and how corrupt is that? How corrupt is that? We have to agree that furry artists are real art, and that's... We have to actually give them our money, too, because they're saying, oh, well, so many people are going to get fired. It's like, well, then go f uh, get a job at Wendy's. What entitles you to have the job of being an artist? Nothing. That's like me saying I'm entitled to being a streamer. You know? Oh, I'm entitled. I'm entitled as a streamer, right? Imagine if that was my... Uh, mindset creating infrared that I'm entitled to everyone's money and I'm entitled to have clout and I'm entitled to have people no infrared's a thing because gorillas are down with it you understand gorillas are rolling with it what's up hot take because hot take is rolling with it you understand that's why infrared is a thing I'm not telling hot take he's a bad person for not giving me money what makes me better than anyone else you know I'm not entitled to we're all equal, you know, in the sense we're not entitled to nothing. I know I'm talking vulgar and stuff, but uh, I'm really pissed off about the anti-AI stuff. It's like, damn, I, these people need to go in jail. I don't know if can deport them. Anyone trying to hold back the forces of production needs to be deported. I guess the reason I'm really pissed, and I, you know, you, it's never good to be angry, by the way. It's never good to be angry, all right? And every time I'm angry, it warrants a self-criticism, and it warrants me breaking down the thing so that we could all be a little more calm about it, right? Understand what we're understanding. We should use it to inspire us. We should, be, uh, uh, we should turn this anger we have, I'm sure you have it too, and turn that anger into energy that inspires us to do great things, to take advantage of this growing technology, to use it with the utmost degree of ruthlessness, without any hesitation whatsoever. Use it as a tool. Use it as a medium from which and with which the infrared message, the message of Marxism-Leninism in the age of multipolarity, the message of an American Marxism proliferates uninhibited. That's what it should inspire us to do. But it pisses me off because I'm seeing these disgusting freaks, these lumpen scumbags, who laughed at farmers that are indebted, losing their farms, being crushed under debt, calling them kulaks and petty bourgeois, and claiming that them getting gobbled up by parasitic monopolies is somehow historically progressive, them claiming that the devastation of people's livelihoods, be it small businesses being destroyed, and not even just small businesses, also actual industrial workers, they have such a snobbish pseudo-accelerationist attitude toward these masses of human beings who are, whose, whose misfortunes don't just affect them individually, but affect entire families and communities, and is really creating a crisis of humanity, the, the fentanyl crisis. You know, people just starting to kill themselves on a large scale. It's devastating the bonds that hold America together as a country, as a people. I mean, it's a profound tragedy. And I'm not the one saying we can return to the past. That's not what I'm saying. But the people that are angry about this and are trying to fight back against it 
even if their methods are not, and they're never advanced when they're spontaneous, right? The methods of the proletariat are always primitive at the outset. But the lack of sympathy with these people undergoing this process of the devastation of their livelihoods and their humanity, you know, they, they, always, guide, they always disguise that as some kind of like edgy, haha, progress wins no matter what, haha. But now that AI is out, and like what? People who work at Disney or people who work for Hollywood as writers or digital artists, even worse, are going to face the prospect of being laid off. Now we're supposed to be sentimental romantics who, who think we should inhibit the development of the productive forces. Mind you, the immiseration of small farmers and small businesses isn't corresponding to any historically progressive phenomena. It's not like these are being replaced by more advanced productive forces. Maybe in the case of Walmart or Amazon, you can make the case. But in a lot of cases, it's the degrowth thing. A lot of people are just losing their livelihood because production overall is becoming neglected. And it's just things are getting depopulated and, and there's a crisis of birth rates and there's a crisis of entire towns dying, right? And there's nothing about that that's historically progressive in terms of the productive forces or new relationships of production. But when it comes to digital artists, now we should be... Now we're going to fucking hold back progress? What happened to the uninhibited progressivism, right? Doesn't that piss you off at least a little bit? That disgusting hypocrisy? Like, at least be consistent. They don't even have the decency to do that. They're so shamelessly self-serving that they're attacking AI purely because they themselves on a personal level come from the creative professional background. They don't care about communism or Marxism or whether or not this is commensurate with an impersonal scientific analysis. They're just shamelessly asserting their own personal interests over the interests of of the country, over the interests of the people, over the interests of humanity. Imagine if I tailored Infrared's entire message around being a lawyer or being a streamer, and it's just my personal background imposed on everyone, and I'm, I'm putting that in front of the interests of the whole people and the whole country. What kind of communist would I be if I did that, right? How disgusting is that? These people have no shame, but I'm not going to even be angry toward them. I'm past that. Because when you're angry toward them, you're just giving them a, a, a reason to continue living and continue existing. That's the truth. These people are lumpen social scum. That will be the... And this is, this is how karma's a bitch. You understand? They are going to face far more of a bleak future than the, the farmers and the workers that they're sneering at and jeering at. And uh, let us find consolation in that fact. You know, I keep... You know, in terms of the responses to the... I, I, I was expecting the responses to be way more severe. But the main one is like, people are just like, ha I didn't read that. Which is interesting, uh, to say the least. Why would you take the time out to say that? But it also shows... There is no real rational response to infrared, either from leftists or the right wing, because a lot of right wingers were also pissed off about what I wrote. And none of them can come up with any kind of rational response. And that sounds old. Every single streamer or alternate political lead, I mean, I'm sure Jay Dyer likes to claim that or something, right? But in, when I say it, I actually mean it, that this is actually the case. There's no rational response. The chain of discursive um, communication and exchange. It's, it's just been closed. There's no way for them to respond to us in a rational way. And I think the prerequisite for dialogue is recognition, right? And why is it that people find it so hard to recognize someone's argument? Why is it always about dismissing it? Oh, too long, didn't read. Why is that the knee-jerk response? Well, it's simple. When you recognize the argument of the other, you risk potentially and eventually giving particular determination to reason itself. You're giving reason a particularity, a receptacle of particularity, which is fundamentally incompatible with liberalism and the bourgeois ideology.
corresponding to it. In the bourgeois ideology, there can never be a concrete and particular receptacle of rationality. There can never be, for example, Stalin was lied about, this is the true story. There can never be, for example, this is the true history of Korea. This is the true history of the Korean people. We have been lied about, and here we are arguing and making our case against this, right? The, the minute you're even minimally willing to hear out what the Democratic People's Republic of Korea has to say about itself, its history, and its nationality, the minute you open yourself up to that, suddenly the total openness of rationalism becomes enclosed. You're enclosing it into a specific and particular context where it acquires the status of a concrete totality. It's actually a particular determination of reason. It, 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 I always notice Western tourists, when they travel to China, when they travel to North Korea, when they travel to these countries, they always have to like keep telling themselves as a mantra, this is propaganda, this is propaganda. This is, they can never recognize the meaningfulness of what the Chinese, what the Koreans are trying to tell them, what that means for those people, because it's too particular. It's too particular. It's too, it's too particular in the sense of being a, re a response within the dialectic. Liberalism only has one <clears throat> assertion, which does not tolerate any response. Just, I assert this, no response is possible for me to entertain. So, obviously, they're not going to read anything I say or listen to anything I say in a rational manner, because this is a dialectic. This is not, I'm not just conveying the one-sided assertions of liberalism. I'm responding critically. And it, to even entertain that, to even recognize the possibility that I might be saying something at all, would be to give particularity to the determination of reason. Everything has to be a one-sided thrust with no uh, conclusion. Just a complete, um, a complete conductivity, a complete uh, seamless alignment with you know the one-sided assertion and monopoly over how reality is understood. People don't read, and people need to start reading, and I'm going to do my best to encourage that. People need to start reading. Okay, I have I there's no one there's no critic of infrared who has actually responded to us everything they say I've already responded to or within two minutes in a debate they would they would have no standing even by their own reasoning and their own logic and there's just no exceptions to that and this is why I've just started to block people on a mass scale because it's like listen I'll debate you I'll fucking debate you you know that but you don't want to debate. So what you want to do is what? Jack yourself off? I don't want to be involved in that. So go and do that on your own. It's not that I'm a technological optimist. It's not that I'm trying to sell you AI. AI's here no matter whether we say it's good or it's bad. Right? I just believe in authentically being honest about what our reality is. I'm not here to say AI is good or AI is bad. I'm here to say this is our reality and these disgusting digital artists and pan leftists on social media who are attacking AI are disgusting subhuman hypocrites who are lying to us about what our reality actually is. A good example of this is how they say, oh, AI is just going to lead to mass produced garbage. How many of these original digital art artists you see produce unique uh unique art does any of it look unique it all literally looks like recycled shit that in no way contributes to the history of art there's no novelty there and if you don't know that you're just not familiar with the history of art i'm sorry to tell you but just because a picture gives you fuzzy feelings inside and you like it doesn't mean it's art it's just as much a mimicry of it's it's not real art because it's not original so, Malevich's Black Square was actually original. Socialist realism was original. Impressionism was original. Symbolism was original. These are all chapters in the history of art that contributed novel contributions to the history of art. If, if you're just creating something that looks cool or looks nice, that's not art.
We have exhausted a long time ago. I would say Malevich and the Black Square was the end of any novelty in the realm of I'm gonna I'm gonna have a painting and I'm just gonna paint something on it and this is gonna be a groundbreaking historical contribution to art. The Black Square was the absolute last work of art. That could express itself through a visual medium, at least at least in, in terms of painting, okay? Or drawing or whatever else. You know, a, a static 2D image ends with the black square, okay? I, I'm sick of being gaslit about how this is the death of art by f***ing who don't know anything about the history of modern art. I'm really sick of it because they're Philistines in the literal sense of the word. They they think that they woke up yesterday and they learned how to doodle on Adobe Illustrator and that makes them f***ing artists without literally knowing anything about how artists in the past were actually trying to give expression to the entirety of what reality was. They were actually trying to express the truth of universal existence in a way that had not been done before. And if it was done before, then art is dead and it doesn't there's no need for it. Okay? Modern art is dead. It's dead and it's gone. So this is a new era of art, which is irreducible to individual works. There's no single picture, there's no single image, there's not even a single movie or TV show or anything that suffices to constitute a work of art. That is dead. That's over. That's high art. High art is gone. So how has art, how can art survive and live past that? I'll tell you. Art has taken on a thematic character. Art has taken on the character of being irreducible to single works, but rather entire themes which thread and, and like a gestalt, which thread together many particular components into one bigger vision or movement or phenomena that's how art exists today art arises only in bulk only with a flood of cheap stupid shit taken as a whole a flood of it can you start to discern a, a, a singular artistic vision the, the era of individuals producing art is over that's what i'm trying to tell you individual production of art is over art has become irreversibly socialized a work of art is something that is inadvertently produced by a community or by a society or by a country no longer is it produced by an individual and this is old news by the way this is not even today this is old news this is what malevich was proving socialist realism the, the, the era of mass-produced state propaganda as art was the beginning of this, okay? The beginning of giving expression to uh, reality in bulk as an overall theme reflecting the movement of history and society given expression ultimately when taken from a bird's eye view in an inadvertent way, that is art. You understand? You know, these stupid trad art accounts. Oh, why don't we go back to fucking statues and shit? Because you're the same thing as a furry artist, you stupid fuck. You're the same thing. You just want something that looks fucking cozy and looks nice. Fine, then just say you want it to look nice and cozy. Don't fucking call it art, you fucking retard. Because a furry thinks that, uh... Those disgusting drawings of, uh, I don't even know what it is, cartoon animal porn, that's what makes them cozy and fuzzy inside. So when you see Greek coliseums, I don't, I don't, and that makes you fuzzy inside, that's not an artistic experience. That's just you wanting a pleasant... I'm not against that. I'm not saying that's necessarily bad. But stop confusing that for art, because it's not what f art is. Art is supposed to convey and express... The truth of existence, the truth of universal reality, ruthlessly, without compromise. And it's not about making you feel fuzzy inside. It's about delivering you to a profound appreciation of the reality you take as a premise in some kind of way. It's like I'm not a right-wing trad 
trad art, you know, that's fucking LARP. It's the same thing as the pan-leftist degenerate not. They're both degenerate, actually. They're both fucking degenerate. How many stupid, disgusting, homosexual neo-Nazi, uh, what is it called where it's like pink and it's from the 80s, that style, return to tradition and there's like a fucking swastika moving and it's pink and it's, what is that, synthwave? Yeah, that's art, dude. Synthwave is art. You are a fucking re- why is infrared the only ones that are like at the at the avant-garde of history right now? You notice that? Like on an aesthetic level, why are we the only ones? At, and even if we're not, we're trying, right? We're actually trying. We're trying to embrace the present we live in. We're the only ones doing that. Everyone else is trying to copy some old bullshit. Meanwhile, we're here trying to actually embrace the future in some kind of way. Or accept it, at least accept it. Oh, uh, you know, um, I, I I just think that this cute little picture of a of a of a, of a cute animal that's smiling and it's also gay. That's that's a work of art. It's it's a warm, colorful cartoon studio Gilby. Shut the fuck up, you psychotic re. You're just a consumer trying to consume. How who does that inspire? Who does that inspire? You know, art is supposed to inspire you to work. That's literally the truth. You want to know the truth of what art is? It's supposed to inspire you to work. It's supposed to inspire you to stop oogling at f***ing images and actually make something. And you know what it means to make something? It means to accept the inadvertence of your actions and the results of your actions. There's, there's never going to be a one-to-one -one input and output. You need to make peace with that. The minute you recognize that is when you understand the sage-like wisdom of Stalin, Mao, etc., etc. Give recognition to the dialectical nature of reality. But nobody wants that. Everyone wants to just reproduce incestuously and recycle their parochial, narrow, comfy little fuck feelings and have that reflected to them on the screen. And then and then these people, both the left pan leftists, they're not real left wing. The pan leftists and the far right Nazis both then have the pretension, this is the best part, of calling their incestuous masturbatory slop high art. High art that they use to uh, acquire some kind of snobbishness around. Ow. I'm a true based right winger traditionalist. You know, I saw some Say that, oh, Haas is a barbarian Phoenician. He's barbar. Shut the fuck up, you bitch. You're a and a pussy. Some neo Nazi bitch was saying this. Haas doesn't know true art in true taste and AI. He didn't even read my sh And he's, he's acting like he's an aristocratic, high class monk. We will help you, bitch. Guillotine. I'm on some Robespierre time, you fuck. I will humble you, just like Genghis Khan humbled people behind their cities and behind their walls. Don't f*** with me. In a video game, I'm not being, like, literal. Like, we're not actually going to do it. I'm saying, spiritually, that's what we're about. I'm a barbarian. Of course I'm a f barbarian. You think I'm a f like you, wearing a powdered wig? I am a barbarian. Let's talk. I'm sick of people hiding behind walls. Israel hides behind walls. I'm sick of people hiding behind walls. I want to besiege these walls. That's what's in my... Yeah, I'm a barbarian. That's what's in my Mongolic ancestral DNA that I just made up right now, but I feel in my heart. You understand? I want to break this sh down. Hiding behind that sh Acting like you're tough. Acting like you're be not tough. That like you're better than others. F you. You ain't sh You need to be humbled. I'm a goddamn Ottoman warrior with a Dardalius gun or whatever that shit was called besieging your walls, bitch. Bring that shit collapsing down. He did. You could never be a true aristocrat with true aristocratic taste. Okay, show me your aristocratic taste. Look at this painting. This trad painting of a tree. And there's a f apple on the tree. And there's a... T I don't f know. Shut the fuck up. Look at this trad painting. Look at this statue. Look at this statue. Yeah, that's true aristocratic taste, right? The real aristocrats of history, like the actual ones, hated. They hated 
aristocracy. That's the truth. You can't be an aristocrat if you're jacking yourself off like a bitch. The true aristocrats stay humble. And don't forget where they come from. You know who the aristocrats were? They were warriors. Those were people who fought, bled, and died in wars and battles. You want to know what made them so aristocratic? Because they were about it, bitch. Because they were standing on business. They weren't sitting here jacking themselves off, feeling they were unconditionally superior to others. They lived by the sword, and they believed any day now they could die by the sword. That's what it means to be a real fucking high, you know, big shot. You understand? We are living in the era of AI. You know, AI is, a, is just revealing the truth of the society we already live in. The aggregation of big data to produce patterns and meaningful results. That is literally, literally, literally what socialist civilization is about. Socialist civilization isn't when some guy comes up and says, I represent all people socially. No, you're an individual. You don't represent the whole social reality because you're an individual, right? Real socialist civilization is when we recognize and acknowledge the social, the common reality that we have, that we're produced inadvertently, indirectly, in a way that's not the direct result of an individual will, but which is an inadvertent common reality that underlies everyone's will, right? And when we recognize that, we recognize the pattern that binds us together, that's socialist civilization. So that's what AI is. You know, people are like, well... AI is just going to recycle its content so much. And I mean, first of all, you're just talking about AI art. Second of all, that's not true. And it, even if it was true, who is stopping people from continuing to doodle and draw and paint or whatever? No one. It's just that stupid, entitled people feel like they should be compensated for things they didn't even earn. You know, I hate this stupid dichotomy. AI and humanity. What are you talking about? AI is meaningless outside the context of humanity. This is one of the problems with Landianism and the Landian ideology. Nick Land was wrong. Landianism did not deserve to have the resurgence that it did after 2016. 